you get your day started? What are the things that you do every morning that get you in the right space and ready for your business so that you're feeling tapped in, tuned in, and turned on? <laughs> How do you nurture the energy that you want to have throughout the week? Okay, well, stick with me for this book review because we're going to be talking all about Hal Elrod's book, The Miracle Morning, and why I think it's a pretty amazing book for entrepreneurs. Stick with me. Let's talk about it. Okay, guys, so um, here's the book, The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. Let's see if I I'll probably, <laughs> here's the book so you can see it. And he, Hal Elrod, it started out um, as a salesperson. <laughs> and, um, you know, he was noticing that some people were doing really well and while other people in the sales process weren't doing as well. And um, he found a way over time to create this process called the Miracle Morning. And he has many, many stories about how doing this specific process, he calls them lifesavers, and we'll talk about what those are in a second. Um, but he has uh, many stories about how getting yourself in the right energy of this, doing these six things every morning, um, really helps you create what you're actually trying to create in the world. Okay, so it's a great book in that he sets up just a specific process to help you. And this is a process he used for years and years and years and years and years and years and years in his own business to create millions of dollars. Okay, so the 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 miracle morning is these six things. Okay, silence, which is, you know, meditating or just sitting in silence and listening to what's arising. Uh, affirmations, visualization, exercise, reading, and scribing. And scribing is, you know, writing for a couple of minutes. So uh, what I know is, okay, here's what I know, because this matches, when I read this book, I was like, this matches up with everything I know about entrepreneurs also. When you are feeling in your best energy, you're feeling awake, you have slept, you've, you've eaten, you're feeling good, you're feeling tapped and tuned in and turned on as Abraham Hicks says, right? If you're feeling your highest and best, how easy it is it for you to write a blog post or record a video? When you're feeling in your highest and best, don't you get that inspiration? And you're like, oh my God, I can't go away to like share this with people right now. When you're in your highest and best energy, when you're taking care of yourself, when you're making sure that you're when you make sure that you are being of service from a full cup every day, okay? This happens for me too. I am not talking about this from on high, okay? When I am feeling highly resourced, I am so much better at everything I do. When I'm feeling highly resourced, when I, when I take myself through these, ex and I really do most of these almost every day. When I take myself through these, I get up into that energy that is creative, gets the downloads, gets, I, makes me feel connected and supported by the universe. That's where abundance is. These are not accidental things. These are things you can do that you can nurture for yourself every day. And so he talks about doing this for about an hour. Um, there's also a, like a five minute version where you do like one minute for each of these things. Okay. So you don't have to have this thing take up your whole day. You don't. Now, there are some people who hate affirmations. If you don't like them, don't put them in there. If you'd rather take a walk around your garden and just sit amongst the flowers, then put that in there. You get to, you know, I always, and I highly recommend you do this as well. Anytime I read a business book or some book where there's information from someone's perspective and opinion and experience, I always take what works for me and leave the rest. And I highly recommend you do this with this as well. And I absolutely talk to my clients about nurturing the energy they want to have every day as well. You have to do so many things as an entrepreneur. And a lot of those things are outside of your comfort zone. 
if you are taking care of yourself energetically, physically, nourishing yourself, eating right, making sure you sleep, getting enough water, if you're whatever they are, I'm just making, I'm just giving you examples, whatever those are for you. If you're actually nurturing that energy you want to have, you are so much more effective, so much more able to be present and, and there for other people through their transformation. It makes you more powerful. And it's not an accident. Now, this also for me, and I don't think this is in his book, this does not mean spiritual bypassing. I mean, if something's coming up for you, be present with it, deal with it. If you need to cry about something, go do that. This isn't about pretending everything is fine and just doing your affirmations. This is about being with you for, and he says an hour every day, but whatever time frame that is for you, being with yourself and allowing whatever needs to be seen by you to be seen. There is no spiritual, but this isn't about pretending you're fine when you're not, okay? This is actually about taking care of yourself, especially when you're not okay. And guys, as entrepreneurs, you're stepping outside of your comfort zone so much, it's easy to start feeling not okay, especially when you don't see those results right away that you want, especially when, you know, you worked so hard to create something and you didn't get the response right away. Oh, I know what that feels like. There's disappointments galore in entrepreneurship. I mean, sure, lots to celebrate, absolutely. But it can be a mixed bag. Taking care of yourself, nurturing this energy that you want to have by doing, you know, whatever things in the morning or evening or both, if that's your thing, that support you in being the person you want to be in the world instead of what just happens based on the past is one of the most powerful things that you can do for yourself on a daily basis, okay? I see it all the time, client after client after client. And even in myself, when I feel good, when I feel connected to myself, tapped in, I, I mean, really, Abraham Hicks has the best way of saying it. Tapped in, tuned in, and turned on. When you feel good, your highest and best self, whatever that is, everything gets easier. So I tell my clients, there's two parts to doing business. There's the energetic side and your mindset, and there's the strategy side and the doing side. So there's the being side and there's the doing side. You can nurture both of those. And if you do, they work together to lift you up. Okay. If you don't nurture both sides, one has to work way harder than the other one. If you're not nurturing the energy you want to have, the strategy, the doing has to work so much harder because it's lifting all of the weight by itself. Same thing for mindset, by the way. If you're only mindset and it all is up here and there's no action, whoo, yeah, you'll just, you'll be up here, but you won't actually be creating anything. These two things have to work together to create what you want in life. They support one another, okay? So don't forget the mindset, the nurturing, the mindset you want to have. If you want some support around that, I highly recommend Hal Elrod's, Hal Elrod's book, <laughs> The Miracle Morning. He has lots of different versions. He has a version for salespeople. I think he has a version for health. Um, because I think he suffered cancer and he used this process to support him in healing through that. So I recommend the book, go check it out. If you're looking for a process and when he says the miracle morning, he has lots of evidence in this book to show you what happens when you do this process over a period of time. Okay. All right, guys, I love you. Have an amazing day. Go check out this book. I have a link in the comment box below. I'm not an affiliate, so don't worry. I'm just going to link you to the book on Amazon so you can go check it out if you're interested. We've talked about nurturing the mindset you want to have. Let's also talk about nurturing one more thing in your business that's important. Testimonials. Testimonials are the social proof you need in your business to show people that you actually do know what you're talking about and can help them because there is proof.
All right. The social proof of your testimonials helps other people buy, helps other people understand what you actually do, helps other people understand how your business is different from everyone else's. Okay. So I recommend also in the description box below that you check out my very simple and free four step process called the perfect testimonial method. It is very simple and it helps your, you and your clients very simply create testimonials that really help you in your business in the long term. So check it out because I know it can be really frustrating to get those testimonials each and every time. All right, guys, that's it for me. You have an amazing day and I will see you on the flip side.